Hi, let's draw a horse. Get your pencil and paper and I will show you a simple way to draw a horse's head. I am a professional artist and I specialized in equine art. That means I draw horses. I have drawn horses since I was four years old. That is what got me into being an artist. And I have a Master of Arts degree from the Royal College of Art. If you like drawing horses and you want more videos on drawing horses, subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, let's get started. We got our paper, we got a pencil, pencil sharpener, and eraser. The eraser, the artist's best friend. <laughs> okay, so make sure you've got a nice sharp point on your pencil. I always do that before I start. My horse's head is basically a triangle with a cut off tip. So if you start with a triangle, you cut off the tip, you got the basic shape of a horse. Of course it's not quite that simple. So, <clears throat> so here we go. It's got a forehead. The horse has a forehead. And then we got the nose here. I'm not going to draw that yet. We do the lips. And the lower lip has got a little bump here. Now, we go here, right? But there's this jaw thing. It's like half a circle. So if you draw half a circle, you're getting there. And then... The nose can be round if it's just been working hard, or can be sort of closed off if he's relaxed. So let's do it. Round one, our horse has been working. There is a bony ridge here, and then right above that is the eye. So you want to draw a circle, but then you want to draw the eyelid on top of it. That's a little bit too far. And then some horses, especially if they've all got a little bit of an indentation here, that's because there's bone going here. And then <clears throat> the neck comes from the top, moves down. And then the throat comes out here, and then you go down like this. And then you can draw a line here that will show you where the where the trachea is, where a horse breathes. You've got the shoulder coming up here and the withers coming up here. And then there is a huge muscle that, that comes out in this part and goes down here. So you can use that line. Okay, let's erase the triangle we drew and let's erase a little bit of this half circle here and any other lines we don't this is the shoulder blade and here comes the chest now we've got one thing left and that is the ear now the ear of a horse sort of looks like a triangle but that's not really what it is it comes out here it is like a triangle but it has more shape to it And of course the ear can go in all kinds of directions. So if a horse is angry, the ears would be flat in the back. Or even flatter than that. Or he hears us talking, so the ear would be moved towards us. But for now we'll keep the ear in the front. So I'm, I'm going to erase all these other ears. and draw our original ear back.
there is another very, very typical aspect that almost all horses ha uh, have. You can really see it on almost all horses unless they have like really thick winter fur or something. And that is, there's a huge vein going here. It splits. You don't have to draw it, but sometimes it's, it's helpful just to place things where they are. And then there's very often lines here which show where the jawline goes and the muscles go. So this is the basic shape of a horse and then you can put in some manes and that gives it a little bit more life. And if you want to do that, just let your pencil flow. Don't be too precise. Don't go like e. Just let it flow naturally. And you can have some sticking up. Now, if we look at the eye, there's lashes here, which is especially, you know, gray horse would be very clearly seen but you can always see them it usually helps to draw them it depends a little bit on how detailed you want to get but we want to get detailed here and then whenever you draw an eye of a horse or anything else you always want to work out where the light is coming from so in this drawing we're going to have the light come down here. This is where the light is coming from. Sometimes, just to help myself, I draw a couple of arrows. That will remind me where the light is coming from. So, because a light... Let me get another pencil. The light is coming from right in front and above the horse so this eye which is round like a marble will catch the light and there will be a very bright spot where the light hits that eye that spot if you add that to an eye it always gives it life and depth and it makes it sparkle and then we do the iris which is a long ellipse shape and make that really dark and then we'll start shading the eye so as the light is hitting here it will also hit the inside of the eye so we'll make it a little bit lighter here and we'll make it really dark on top and that will give super depth to the eye so I'm shading this very lightly and I'm making a dark circle around it and I'm shading the rest of the eye really dark and then go from dark to light here and now you can see You've got an eye with a lot of depth. So most horses have dark skin and the hairs are really thin. Or in some older horses or breeds like the Arab horse, they have no, especially in summer, they have no hairs around the eyes. So there's almost always a really dark area around the horse's eye. So we shade that a little bit. Use your pencil lightly and go a little bit harder if you want to go darker. And, and then of course we'll, we'll add an extra eyelid up here because that will help with the darkness and also horses have an eyelid. And as horses will have like a dark, dark eyelids around the eye. Um, let's let's give a little bit of shade to the nostril and the nostril will be a bit lighter here and a bit darker here and because there's 
almost always a, a thinner layer of hairs around the nose. The nose is usually... going to shade the lips as well. I, I gave him ever so slightly a little bit of a friendly smile. By just making a, a line that ever so slightly moves up. Okay, so now we're going to shade this. This ridge always has a little bit of shade underneath it. A little bit more shade under the eye. A little bit of shade here. go up here a little bit so you can give that a little bit of shade too make it a bit lot darker here just there's of course a little bit of shade underneath the jawline too because this does go around and of course there's shade here the windpipe you can shade the mains a little bit the forelock now remember this this is a muscle that's sticking out so this will always be a lighter part, and then this could be a darker part. You just shade around it a bit, and make it a bit more three-dimensional. Have some hair sticking up here. This need to be a perfectly groomed horse. Now you've got a nice horse. If you want to make it a chestnut, you make everything a little bit darker. In this case I'm going to give it a little bit more darkness around the nostrils and then I'll put in some spots. I'm 
make this into a real horse. bit darker here just <coughs> trying to get an overlook I think I think we're done sort of clean up the lines a little bit because I see a little bit left over from our triangle where we started. I like to use these kneadable erasers. Because you can make them in a little point. You can really do some fine erasing with them. Okay, and there's our horse. Let's sign it. And you're done. Ta-da! We got our horse. How did your horse turn out? Let me know in the comments below. And if you had a problem, also let me know in the comments below and I might make a video just for you. If you liked the tutorial, give me a like. If you loved it, subscribe and ring the bell. See you next time. Bye.